guys, this is Will from Wild Play Fishing. I'm up traveling to Lake St. Clair at the moment, uh, just north of Singleton. Uh, it's a really good bass fishery up here. I haven't actually fished it in about two years now, so very keen to fish it again. It's fishing well from all reports. Nate's been up here the last couple of days fishing it, doing really well on chatterbaits and plastics on the weed edge, so he's with me. He knows where they are biting at the moment, so we're gonna def definitely give that a go along the edges and in the bays, and hopefully get some service action too. Uh, all reports as well, they're, um, they're biting well on surface, so been cooler mornings, um, which are probably cooling the water tent down, getting them to bite well on the end. Stay tonight and uh, head out in the morning too. Yeah, stay tuned for this one. You. Waiting to get like proper nailed, eh? What you do? What that? Oh yes! <laughs> How about that? One four three nine no. One four five nine three. One four three. I got one, one, three. Oh, hang on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're in. We're going in. Here we go. Is that that flats area you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, man. He looks so good there. I reckon if you threw, you can throw surface all along there in the afternoon. And it just, oh. What we're doing at Windermere. Yep. Oh, strong park. Yeah, right. Alright. We're going to get. Gonna get yours. Oh, actually, do you wanna get mine in first? Get yours in first, yeah. Yeah, I reckon I'm gonna use the chatter first. Yep. With ya, I reckon. I'll just do it with ya. Yep. Sometimes it's like dunk, dunk on the back of it. Oh, crap, it's heavy when it's full. I reckon it's like 23. Do you reckon? 23, 24? Feels about the same as the other day when it was about 26, 27. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, right. Feels a lot cooler than that. Oh, Which way are you going? I'll go left. Yep. The water's so nice. Yeah, good oh, time. awesome for a swim. All right, time to leave camp and head out. Frothing, eh? Oh, it feels good. Yeah, it does in the water, eh? Feels good, eh? I reckon it would feel so good just getting whacked by it. It does. Oh, there's so many fish right here. Oh, really? Oh, I can see about 15 fish, I reckon. So it's definitely not hard to locate the fish. <laughs> oh, my God. What, everywhere? Yep, everywhere down the slope. The further down the slope I go. <laughs> <laughs> what, everywhere? Oh, <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Come on, I'll get it in. <laughs> there we go. Just get it to your arm. I was trying to just get it, just get it to your arm um, in front of your yak. <laughs> oh, yep. It was very, oh, yep. <laughs> How about that? I was just saying, oh, that was a very soft hit. And then it just loaded up. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't take long at all. There you go. On the chatter bait, hey? This is my first fish on a chatter. Yep, it took me a similar amount of time to get one on the chatter bait. I wonder if I've got him in the stinger, the stinger hooks or if I've actually hooked him. Nah, he's just taking it, I think. He hasn't looked overly bad either. Yeah, he's mid-30s, yeah. I'd say. 
There we go. There's the first fish of the trip. <laughs> He's a healthy fish too. Oh, they're waving down there now. Yep. Oh. That is awesome, hey. All right. There is the bass. You're in weed, are you? I think so. I can see a zanner fish is hitting me on the drop. He'd be about, what, 35? 34? Yeah, I'd say just about 34. That'll give him a nice release. Beautiful. That did not take long. So that's what I'm using. It's the, um, the Daiwa Steez Chatterbait. Um, and I've got a uh, bait junkie as a trailer with assist hooks on the back. All right, let's get back down there, I reckon. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I would have nearly seen him hit that then. <laughs> He's a little fella. Oh, got him on the stinger hooks this time. Yep. <laughs> yep, on the stinger. Off he goes. Just gotta push that, that little bead back down. Because it come up. But it turns them on with pl plastic, so. Oh, oh, I just want to... I'm just waiting to get, like, proper nailed, eh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what that? <laughs> 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 that feels like a better fish, too. Yeah, up in the weed, you'll get slightly better fish. But I think he's got me straight away in the weed. Yeah, they do it. <laughs> this is awesome, eh? Yeah, it's fun, eh? Oh, I've missed bass fishing. Oh, he's buried me. Yep, so you gotta get directly above him and just line him out. I'll just, I'll just grab the line and slip. I got him out. Oh, he's okay. He's average. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Wash his blood off. Oh, off he goes. <laughs> Got him on all three hooks that time. That's three fish to nil already. Yep. So. Three fish to nil already. Yep. So. Yep, my, my um, mod for. Oh! Oh, he's on. oh yes! <laughs> Just saying. That. Just saying. No hits yet. I don't think he's real big. Yeah, he's little. Ah, that's four. Like half an hour, maybe. I reckon he's hooked the big hook, this one. Yeah, I cast near the tree, but he hit me way off it. Hit me like out of here. Yeah, he's hooked the big hook. Has he? Yep, the big hook. He has, don't worry about the, the assist hooks on this fella. It'll have the light. We're gonna just do a flip release for you here. I don't think you've got any assist hooks attached. Oh yeah, you do, you got one assist hook. Nearly, up you go, good on you buddy, off he goes. You beaut. Come on, Mr. Bass. <laughs> it increases your chances by 80%. 80%? Yep. Gee, done. Do you wanna explain what we're doing? Yeah, so we're just going up along edges, so pretty well we found any edge as holding fish, so. We're just um, running Daiwa Steez Chatterbaits. Found the key depth has been around that two and a half to maybe four and a half metres. So, um, and what you want to do is just just sit it above the weed. Um, get as close to it as you can. Don't worry too much about retrieve speed. Generally, a good constant medium retrieve speed is good. I find um, I've modified mine a little bit. This is a three eighth um, ounce in it, and I've just modified it to a black blade. So I've just coloured in with a permanent marker, and then added a couple of just a. Uh, assist hooks on the back with a couple of beads attached. Um, you can trail a plastic on it too. I've opted just not to do that, but there's nothing wrong in doing that. Definitely still catch fish, but yeah, the beads just hold the assist hooks in place and I find probably around half or a little over half of the fish actually just get pinned on that. So in the short strikes, you, you hook up. But I'm going to nail them so far. I've only been on the water for about half an hour and yep. we've got four fish already. So yeah. um, it's pretty basic fishing really. It's just, don't have to do any fancy jigs or anything. You're just casting up. As soon as it hits the water, just a nice medium retrieve. Just try and keep the rod tip up slightly, just so if it does get in the weed, you can give it a bit of a reef out. So hopefully you pull it out and you don't have too much weed attached to it. But a nice medium retrieve and 
just work the banks and there's fish everywhere through the weed and eventually you'll find one that wants to eat. We've found a few so far, so nothing big, but... That's well, good fun anyway, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, good fun. The afternoon's still young. Yep. Well, this bay last time I think we're here would have been full. Yeah. And now it's just virtually empty. Oh, no, it'll be absolutely crunch me. Yep. Yeah, you feel better. Get out of there. Get out of there, son. Come on. Oh, he's not overly large, I don't think. Yeah, they go hard, don't they? He looks, I reckon he's the best of the day. I haven't got a brilliant look at him yet. Oh, yeah, he's, he's all right. Yeah, look at that. And I've only just pinned him in the assist hook. Oh. Yep, he's nice. Here we go. Up along this windy point here. Tick over 40. There we go. Yep, there we go. Nice, solid Australian bass. Off you go, son. Off you go. Have a go way up here. Wind's picked up. Oh, I'm on. Yep. I'm on. Oh, you're on. Feel alright? I reckon it's a yellow belly. Hey? I reckon it's a yeller. A yeller? Yeah, I'm coming over. It's just so dopey. God, what is this? Or a catfish, maybe. No. I can't feel him anymore now. I reckon he's probably gone. It feels way too hard to be on weed. Oh, it's so stuck, man. It's so stuck. Oh, God. Yep. Snap, snap the leader. Ah! Oh. So what I'm going to do, this is the, um, the 3.8 Daiwa Steez chatterbait. I've got the Daiwa Bait Junkie 3.2 inch baby bass color minnow as a trailer. But what I'm gonna do is, I've got a permanent marker here. I'm just gonna color in the bead black as much as I can. Just so it doesn't stand out so much. So this is pretty much the stopper for the hook, the stinger hook that I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna use. Stinger hook here. These are the BKK hooks. Um, I'll have to go a medium, I think, because I've got no large left, so it's all right. I'll put it over the main hook. Get it there. And then I'll get that bead that we colored in, black. And I'll put that, just, it's got a hole in it already, so you just put it over the hook and slide it down. Yeah, so there you go. The stinger hooks are just at the back there. So if you get any tail grabbers, which you will from time to time, those stinger hooks will grab it for you. So yeah, that's um, that's the rig I'm using for this afternoon. I'll probably use that for the next hour, I reckon. Skippy. Oh yes, salad. Yes. I'm buried. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Get it. Oh, it's a yeller. I got a yeller. Oh, yeah, he's all right, too. He nailed that. Oh, yeah. 
Nice yellow. Not a football, but... Yeah, I might actually. Yep. Probably low 40s. Yep. yep. 44. 44 centimetre yellow. Oh, at the tree there. I carried a cast there and didn't touch it. Yes. It's a bass. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> mid 30s. There he is. Yeah, mid 30s. Yeah. He actually didn't even get it in the mouth. There he goes. It does, that's why I thought we'd come up here. Little islands around the edge. Some more areas they can push up to. Shallow weed out in the middle there, timber. Deep drop-offs. Little shallow bay up here. Could be another one around that tree, I'm gonna try again. And I was actually trying to aim past the tree, and I hit the tree. And I already uh, virtually cast in almost the same spot and didn't get a touch. So I, I reckon it's because I've hit the tree. He sort of gone, oh, heard something and looked towards the tree and just seen it. I wonder if that's what he's done. So that theory that we had at Lost Stock where you ram the tree before you drop the plastic on it. Oh, there's a buff. Right up on the edge up there. Well, this is where they are. They're up here now. See if I can get this fish up here on the chatterbait. Quite cast far enough to where he was. Oh, there he was. Thump, thump. Oh, there's heaps of turtles in here too. <laughs> there's a turtle up on it there. Should have been wearing face masks because of the, you know, COVID. <laughs> Social distancing, yeah. Oh, there he is. Oh. Oh. oh, better, better fish. Oh, he's trying to get me in that weed. Come on, buddy. Get out, get out. Oh, he's in the shallows. Should nearly see him, hurry. Oh, yeah, he's a bit bigger. Yeah, he's all right. There he is. Got a bit better than I think, actually. He's long actually, he might be better than I think. Right up on the edge here. He's only pinned in the assist hooks too. Oh, got him. Yeah, he's over 40, no doubt about that. That's a 40 centimeter bass. Yeah, I might get a real one or two snaps. Oh, yeah, he's good. He's a tad over 42. Yep, yeah. not bad. Oh, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> him on curve. Yeah, it should be good now. I think sometimes the blade. I think I'm going to stick with the chatter for a while just because it is overcast. Yeah. I think. I'm just going to stick with it. Persist. I've got, got the odd one when um, I'm coming up. Yeah, okay. The um, the trailer looks so good, eh? The paddle tail. I reckon this point up here, eh? Got to get a fish, I reckon. Off this point. Yep. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. I wonder if we fished it as much as we um have fished lock stock in the past, and I wonder what our PBs would be in this dam. I'd love to know if we actually would have caught a couple of fifties. There's a couple of fish on the edge here. Oh, yep. Oh, I seen him. I would have just about missed him, I reckon. But I seen him a second later. <laughs> he whacked it. Oh, he's not a bad fish, too. Look at him. Oh, he's a nice one. He's a beautiful bass. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Yep, that's a good bass. Yeah. He'll go. Yeah, he'll be my biggest. 
I might get a photo of him if um, that's all right, I reckon. I can already tell that he's going to be at least 42, I think. Yep. He is. Oh, he's not quite on the... Yeah, he's 42. He's not bad, eh? Yeah, he's all right. Yeah. Just caught this nice 42 centimetre bass. Uh, on the um, Diver Steve's chatterbait. We've gone back to them now. We flicked surface for a bit this morning, but they've kind of shut off with the surface bite. So, yeah, we're just flicking along the um, the weed edge here, and this guy climbed all over it. So, we'll, um, we'll get him back in the water, eh? Beautiful. That is beautiful. All right, so I'll just show you the quick rig that I'm running. So, this is the 3 8 um, Steve's chatterbait from Diver. And I've just got a trailer on this one. It's Bait Junkie 3.2 inch a minnow in the baby bass color. And what I've done, I've just got some stinger hooks I'm gonna put over the main hook. And I've just got a, the, um, a little bead that just goes over the hook and just sits there and just keeps that in place so it doesn't move up and down the hook too much and come off. That's my rig and Nafe's got a no plastic on at the moment. So we're just gonna yeah, see what one works best, I guess. So. Oh, there's a buff on the edgy. Yeah, sometimes the harder they hit, the harder it is to hook them properly. Yeah. Oh! Not him. Oh! Yeah, right near the tree. He's buried me straight away. On the chatter. Oh! <laughs> straight away, he just went bang. Holy for weed there. Yeah, he's alright. Nothing wrong with him at all. Yeah, right on that tree there. One buffed on the bank right here, yeah. and I cast up there, and he went bang. But he never came back. Yeah, right. yeah it's right on the bank right here. He's all right. This one, he's he's easily over forty. Gonna flip him in. Yeah, cracker. He's a cracker actually. Forty-two maybe. Get the brag man out for him. I'm gonna. Oi, settle down. Oi, he's trying to... He's smacking the jackal. <laughs> the jackal's right near his head and he's hitting it with his head. He's headbutting it. I wonder if you've hit a jackal before, buddy. Oh, 43. 40... He's actually 43 and a half. I'm just going to show him up to the GoPro, I reckon. Oh, God. Yes. Yeah, he's not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. Okay. Off he goes, straight down into the weed. Oh, whack! Oh, I got smoked! Oh, I got him! Oh, he's taken off with it! Dropped it again! I was bringing it up over the weed and the line just started shooting off to the right. Oh, I don't know if it was the same fish because he nailed it the first go. He had to have felt hooks. I don't think he'll come back now. Whoop! Oh, yep, yep, got him. Oh my god. Oh! The line just went slack. I knew he was coming towards me. Oh, yes, good fish. Whoa, whoa, hey. He's buried me like three times. Get out. Get out. Oh, he's a good one. He's a good one. Very fit looking fish, this one. Jesus, he's put up a fight. He is still going. <laughs> he's over 40. Comfortably. Oh. Tick over 42 centimetres. 42 and a half. Ew. Distance away. Up near the thistles. Oh, right there! Oh, ha, ha, ha. Yeah. That's what we want.